Hey guys! Movie Recapped here. Today we are talking about movie. 2012-2012. Movie based on Earth's billions of occupants are ignorant that the planet has a expiration date. Twenty Twelve is a 2009 American science fiction movie coordinated and composed by a Roland Emmerich. It was delivered by Harold Closer, Mark Gordon, and Larry J. Franco, and composed by Closer and Emmerich. The film stars John Cusack, Amanda Peet, Chiwetel Ejiofor, Oliver Platt, Thandi Way Newton, Danny Glover, and Woody Harrelson. In view of the 2012 peculiarity, its plot follows geologist Adrian Helmsley, Ejiofor, and writer Jackson Curtis, Cusack, as They experience an eschatological grouping of occasions including seismic tremors, spring of gushing lava emissions, mega tsunamis and a worldwide flood, which were all envisioned by endorsers of the speculation. Let's start. 2009, Adrian Helmsley, Shuaitl Ejiofer, an American geologist, visits astrophysicist Dr. Satnam Tsarutani, Jimmy Mystery, in India and discovers that neutrinos from a gigantic sun-oriented flare are making the temperature of the Earth's center increment quickly. Adrian goes to Washington, D.C. and gives a report on the discoveries to White House Chief of Staff Carl Anheuser, Oliver Platt, who takes Adrian to meet the President of the United States. In 2010, President Thomas Wilson, Danny Glover, and other worldwide pioneers start a mystery venture to guarantee mankind's endurance. Around 400,000 individuals are picked aboard delivers that are being built at Chiming, Tibet, in the Himalayas. Simultaneously as the People's Liberation Army are gathering volunteers, a Buddhist priest named Nima, Osric Shou, is cleared while his sibling Tenzin, Chin Han joins the specialists in the boat project. Extra financing for the venture is raised by offering passes to the private area for 1 billion euros for every individual. By 2011, mankind's significant fortunes are moved to the Himalayas all the while assuming a pretense of shielding them from psychological oppressor assaults with the assistance of craftsmanship master and first daughter drive Laura Wilson, Thandi Newton. One of the fine arts is the Mona Lisa which is supplanted in the Louvre with an exact duplicate. Her chief, Roland Picard, Patrick Bojow, is subsequently killed when his vehicle is constrained into a deadly car collision in similar Paris underpass where Princess Diana was killed. Picard had found that the cavern containing the vault where the Mona Lisa and other valuable things of beauty should be put away was a phony area. In 2012, Jackson Curtis, John Cusick, is a sci-fi essayist in Los Angeles who works low maintenance as a limousine driver for the Russian oligarch very rich person, Yuri Karpov, Zlatko Buri, Jackson's ex, Kate, Amanda Pete, and their kids Noah, Liam James, and Lily, Morgan Lily, live with Kate's beau, plastic specialist Gordon Silberman. Thomas McCarthy Jackson takes Noah and Lily setting up camp in Yellowstone National Park. After an experience at a confined government research site with Helmsley, they meet Charlie Frost, Woody Harrelson, who has a public broadcast from the recreation area. Charlie, a trick scholar, 
plays a video of Charles Hapgood's hypothesis that polar movements and the Mesoamerican long count calendar foresee that the 2012 peculiarity will happen. Hapgood accepted that unsound conditions under the covering of the Earth would make it shift Earth hull removal. Charlie has a guide of the ARC project notwithstanding paranoid notion data about authorities and researchers from around the world who were killed in the wake of intending to alarm the general population. One such researcher really loved Charlie's and had sent him the guide before his less than ideal passing. The family gets back as seismic movement immeasurably increments along the west shore of the United States. Subsequent to dropping off Karpov's bratty children at the air terminal, Jackson becomes dubious and rents a plane to save his family. He gathers his family in Gordon as the Earth outside lair relocation starts, and they barely get away from Los Angeles as the city slips into the Pacific Ocean, racked by an enormous tremor that obliterates all of downtown. As millions pass on in horrendous quakes around the world, the gathering with Gordon steering the little plane, flies to Yellowstone to recover Charlie's guide, getting away as the Yellowstone caldera ejects. Charlie stays behind to communicate the emission and is killed in the impact of the ejection of a debris cloud. Discovering that the boats are in China, the gathering lands in a crushed Las Vegas to view as a bigger plane. They meet Yuri, his twin children Alec and Oleg, played by Alexander and Felipe Hausman, sweetheart Tamara, Beatrice Rosen, and pilot Sasha, Johan Erb. The gathering gets an Antonov and 225 airplanes, wrongly and maybe purposely denoted an Antonov 500 inches and they leave for China. Likewise setting out toward the Chongming site on board Air Force One are Anheuser, Helmsley and Laura Wilson. After showing up in Tibet, they see that the boats are not ships bound to take the survivors off Earth yet are monster seagoing boats, huge arcs that can hold large number of individuals. Helmsley observes that the lodges are entirely sumptuous and just implied for one to two individuals. A reality he scrutinizes when he tells his watchman the room could hold around 10 individuals. Anheuser clarifies that the exorbitant cost of a room was important to support the undertaking since the states of the world couldn't realistically have stowed away the expense for extremely long. President Wilson stays in Washington, D.C. To address the country one final time. With the vice president dead and the speaker of the house missing, Anheuser expects accepted authority. Washington is hit by the pyroclastic ejecta cloud from Yellowstone, which covers the city in a stifling haze of thick debris. Battling with others in the demolition, President Wilson is killed by a maquette tsunami which conveys the plane-carrying warship John F. Kennedy into the White House, smashing it. Sasha and the gathering intend to land momentarily at Hawaii to refuel, nonetheless. The island chain has been crushed by volcanic action. Forging ahead. Sasha fears they might run out of fuel prior to coming to Central Area Asia. They find that the seismic action of the Earth's surface has moved the Chinese coast 1500 miles east and they can make an accident arrival, barely getting away from death by driving a Bentley out of the plane before it skids to a stop on a glacial mass. The plane overbalances on the edge of a bluff and falls taking Sasha with it. The gathering is spotted by the People's Liberation Army. Yuri and his children, having tickets, are taken to the arts, Yuri briskly leaving Tamara, whose undertaking with Sasha was something he knew about, and the others behind. The remaining survivors are gotten by Nima and are taken to the arts with his grandparents.
Lisa Lu and Shang Tseng. They stow away on the ark with the assistance of Tenzin, who had an arrangement to carry his family on board through a back entrance. As a maggot tsunami approaches the site, in effect driver becomes stopped between the cogwheels of the ark's power through pressure chamber, forestalling a boarding door from shutting and delivering the boat unfit to turn over its motors. In the following confusion, Erie, Gordon and Tamara are killed, Tenzin is injured, and the ark is set hapless. Not long before he bites the dust. Yuri is capable lift the two as children up to team individuals from the boat. In doing as such, he leaps to his demise. Jackson and Noah unstick the effect driver and the group recaptures control of the ark before it can affect Mount Everest. After rising waters from the waves subside, the arcs travel to the Cape of Good Hope in South Africa where the Drakensberg Mountains have ascended comparable to the ocean level and become the tallest mountain range on earth. Thanks for watching if you want watch the full movie link in my description.